Hello and welcome to another edition of another book review. This week I'll be reviewing Writing Without Rules by Jeff Somers. This is a nonfiction book, so my review structure is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to talk about just generally what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, and then kind of go into uh, overall my thoughts and uh, who I'd recommend the book to. So uh, I don't know too much about the author Jeff Somers. I hadn't read any of his stuff before this. From what I gather from reading this book and kind of doing some brief research on the internet, he's kind of best known for uh, a series of, I believe they're mystery, science fiction mystery books. Um, I think it's called the Avery Cates is the protagonist. Um, so he's written nine novels in total. He's also written short stories. He was an editor for of a, a zine for several years. He's also done some freelancing work for Huffington Post and other outlets. So he's he's basically a working writer. And what this is, Writing Without Rules, is his kind of breaking down uh, general questions that people ask him about his process, um, where he gets ideas from, also things like if a novelist, it's mostly geared towards people who are interested in becoming novelists, um, where he gets his ideas from, uh, his plotting method, um, if you should self-publish or not, the pros and cons of self-publishing. He also has, a, I think, a pretty interesting section on the social media as a writer. Uh, he has a really good chunk on freelancing that I thought was interesting, um, the importance of agents, whether or not you need an agent. So I thought that that all was really good. Um, he is also kind of known for writing for Writer's Digest, so a lot of this uh, kind of comes from his time there. And it kind of it feels like kind of almost a series of articles kind of packaged together as a book. He wrote this uh, fresh, though, so everything here, is, best of my knowledge, is original material. But I really enjoyed it. It's a fairly brief uh, work. It, it kind of uh, flew through it. It's indexed fairly well, pretty logically, so you can kind of find the information that you're looking for. The only con I can really think of, um, well, I guess there's two cons. If, if you're looking for someone to tell you specifically this is the way that things work, I think the big point of his, the book is that there's really no one way to do almost any of this stuff. There are people who have done really well self-publishing, and there are people who have not done very well self-publishing. Um, there are people who have sold books without agents. He himself has sold books with and without agents. Uh, so I think he does a good job of breaking down the different ways that you can be successful in writing, and the overall answer is there's really no one way to do anything. Um, and I guess the second point of it is he has a very distinct sense of humor, uh, which I found uh, pleasant at first, but ultimately kind of grating. He has a lot of footnotes on almost every page, and most of them are related to kind of self-depreciation and jokes related to alcohol. Uh, your mileage may vary on that. Uh, I think after a while, I, they, I wish he'd kind of uh, cut back on some of those, because I think it uh, overall took away from uh, some of the points he was making as kind of a, a, any kind of authority figure. Um, but overall, I did enjoy it. I thought it was a pretty brief read if you're someone who's interested in kind of learning behind the scenes of what it takes to be a working writer. And I think ultimately that's what Jeff is. He's someone who gets kind of his money not only from novels, but from freelancing and from articles and, and all kinds of stuff. So I would take a look at it, Writing Without Rules by Jeff Somers. Um, so that's my brief review of this book. And next time, like I said before, I kind of alluded to it, but I'll review it here again, bring it up again. I'm going to be reviewing Becoming Superman, the book by J. Michael Krasinski, uh, kind of best known for Babylon 5. I got an advanced Goodreads copy of that, so I'll be reviewing that uh, shortly here. Till next time, bye.